tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. So, today, we'll be learning about some quintessential life skills in this time and generation. Now, more than ever, with everything shifting to online platforms, much more people have been posting on social media, building their online personas, and worrying about being presentable for Zoom calls. Grabe! Even with prepping for work from home shows that everyone is really now connecting online. To tell us more about how to thrive in an online setting, I've invited two creatives we actively see online to tell us about their tips on how to best express your, this, themselves and yourselves on social media as well as tricks on how to be camera ready. Now it's time to invite in our creative and talented guests for this afternoon. Let me welcome our first guest. We have senior PR executive, live streamer, and events host, and a vlogger. We have Maki Santos. Hi! Hi, Aliyah! Thank you for Hi. having me. Hi, Maki! <laughs> so now we're here with Beauty in a Box. Welcome! I'm so excited. Thank you. I'm so excited. So let's complete our group for today. We also have a DJ at Mix Philippines. TV events and podcast host, and also a vlogger. We have Sam Alvero. Hey guys! Hi Leah! Hi Maggie! Woo! I'm so excited. So I first ask, you know, how have you guys been? Since we're already, I don't know, second month of the ng GCQ, you know? I want to first ask how you both been. So we can start probably with um, Maggie together. Um, I've actually been really good. Honestly, I feel like I'm more busy now that I'm home. But in a sense na it's not so stressful since I'm doing everything just in the corners of my house, right? And yeah, as mentioned earlier in your introduction, I'm also a PR executive. So I have a day job and then at night, I do live streams. So it gets busy but in general, I'm happy. It's been fun so far. Ayan. What do you have? How do you have? Oh, I, I super relate to Makina. I think I have more work now. But I, I also, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it just yeah. keeps me busy. It keeps me distracted from a lot of other things. A lot of other things that's been happening around the world. But yeah, but it's, it's been okay. I've been okay, I think. <laughs> wow. But the chamber nowadays, because there's so many things happening, so it's easy to get over. Well, that's true. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I still feel good. I'm still very blessed. I'm still very happy. So it's still been pretty good. So yeah. yeah. As long as we're at the end of the day, na okay lang tayo, no? Parang push lang, laban lang tayo. Yes. <laughs> what has your journey as a creative and online personality been like? Parang what was your background? How did you even? How did you start with you know hosting? It started in high school, I think. Like, I feel like all my my high school mates would know Sam is yeah. awesome. I was gonna say, yeah, back in school. Yeah, it started in high school. Like, it was just like a hobby because I like talking and talking, performing, things like that. And bang, I guess the teachers just noticed it as well as my my schoolmates. They're like, oh, you're good at hosting. You can keep doing this. So it just started there. So I hosted almost every show that we had in the Fun. <laughs> like basically. Um, I hope for most of that. And then like when I graduated, it just carried on. I feel like word of mouth na lang din na parang when they have the booths, events, birthday parties, like corporate events, they're like, oh, Mackie, Mackie is like referred to host, something like that. So it just started there. And yeah, I never expected it to be like a real job for me now. For me naman, parang I did any background in high school or, or college for hosting as in I was super chill lang kasi like I didn't really care na parang I would just do whatever I'd just go to school stuff like that but then I think the moment that I auditioned for Mix that was the moment that I was like I can be a host pala like I was trying I was when I, when I when I actually was through going through the Mix DJ search already that's when I started to realize that hosting was something that I could do because before that I had no experience in hosting I was just really talkative really Loud, but I never really thought that I could be a host. But then after the mix VJ search, parang I got more confident and I got to see that side of me in a man. I was like, hey, this is really something that I can do. So it was more of that. I didn't really have a lot of experience, but then I kind of just pushed myself there and I just figured it out as I went. So yeah, that's where I actually started. 
I love it. So for our viewers out there, no, you can take it from Sam. Na you never know, talaga, if you take a risk or like it's yeah. never too late. Na it doesn't matter. Na before you don't know, pala, na you have the ability to host or do whatever. Na you always want to do. Pag na once you try it, pala, ay kaya ko pala, de ba? Yes. So lots of people would want to know then how you both got into where you are right now. Kasi maraming aspiring who host, aspiring DJs, aspiring online um, live streamers. And I also have like one, this one of my good friends na wanting to be like you guys. Na very good. Ah, uh, fan nga siya eh, ninyo eh. Her name is Gia. She's watching right now and she's, she's been wanting to know like ano yung background niyo. So sabi ko, sige, pag-usapan natin dito yan. <laughs> Another question lang bago tayo mag, mag mas maging serious, no? How do you separate being Maki Santos, live streamer of Shopee or Sam Alvaro, mixed DJ? When you put out your personal content, because of course, when you're on Online, you have a brand name. You're Maki Santos, you're live streamer, DJ Maxam. At the same time, you want to put out your own personal life, right? Yeah. How do you both separate that from you, your personal content and branding? Yo? I think for me, it's a matter of just being responsible with what you put out there. It's not so much like trying to conceal this part of your life. It's more of just like being yourself, but also being responsible with being yourself. So yeah, for me, it's like that. <laughs> I love being yourself and responsible. How about you, Maki? Sam was right. Like, so I was really like contemplating while she was talking. I was like, is there really like a big difference with how I present myself as a live streamer or not? And I realized that um, generally, no, eh. Parang who I am as a person, it's the same. Because it's a live stream. Like, like I was sharing with them backstage that I talk to myself basically. Yeah. It's not like it. <laughs> Diba? Like, it's not yeah. like oh, na I can talk to Aliyah, I can talk to Sam. Like, we can like converse easily. But when I do live streams, it's like a completely different game. Because when you're hosting, you it's like you lead the program or whatever. You have guests. They also do other stuff. But when it's live streaming, it's just you. Like, me, myself, and I, girl. Like, what? <laughs> so, it's me, myself. Lang. So, like, for me, I can't really, like, change how I am. Because I'm not gonna last an hour or so when I live stream if I'm trying to be someone yeah. different. Yeah. So, but I think the only difference talaga, like, super slight, ano lang, when I live stream, I make sure that even if it's, like, something about my interests and stuff, I make sure that the things I say are relatable also. also more importantly, to the people watching me. Because if it's a live stream, if they can't relate, they're gonna leave. They're not gonna keep watching you, the right? So, I make sure that I'm myself, but also at the same time, I make sure that I cater to my market as well. So, and it's different for different platforms. The Shopee viewers are different from Instagram, from YouTube. Yeah. So, like, I think the difference lang, I myself paren, pero in each kind of platform, the way I communicate changes. But, yung ako, ako paren yun. Does that matter? Like, you get that. Yeah, I get you. I get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. You know, some people when you're online, minsan, of course you have to change. Pero okay, whoop, ito na ako. I'm online. E iba siya pag sa labas, di ba? May ganon tao eh. So that's why we want we want to know that keep some people separate their branding into their personal life, which is sometimes uh because they have to. So that's why I want to ask you both about that, like your take on it. So I'm still thankful you shared that with us today. So let's talk about what type of content do you usually put out. So how close it to the real you? So okay, um, so let's start with DJ Sam. Okay. Well, it was through mix that I realized that I don't know how to be anyone else but myself. As in, I really don't know how. It's just me putting myself out there and just bahala na kind of like attitude when it comes to like. Who I am. Like, if people like me, then that's great. If people don't like me, that's also okay. So it's like kind of mix became that instrument for me to kind of find myself and see how people are able to relate to me. But surprisingly, people are like, I at first because I thought people weren't gonna get me because I have a really, really I know background that people can, you know, often take a super mo art or super function. Then I graduated from Ateneo Pa. So it's like a whole like yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a perception like that. But then over time, people 
feel so na I wasn't really trying to be anyone else. Na they were, just, they were like, okay, she's okay, but not like she's not really being more hearted. That's just really how she is. So when it comes to the content we make, we make a lot of vlogs on mix. I also have a show called Pop Culture, which I think became the the vehicle for me to really express myself and show people who I am. Because yeah, people do have a perception of me being more hearted and I like expensive. Things. Uh -oh. I see uh, a lot about what people say about me, but through that show, parang I will eat, as in I will eat on the streets of Manila, like super random, sa kalye lang talaga, like super. It's just so, it, it really showed them that I'm, I'm really just like a normal person. I don't oh, really, oh. I'm not really my art. I'm just really being this way. So yeah, I think it was through the vlogs, especially pop culture, that people saw who I really am as a person. Yeah. Ang maganda yung impact mo sa ano mo talaga sa mixing um, pop culture episodes mo. I yeah. love you to go to bring out the real you talaga na wala kang filter. You're just being you. Hindi pa ako parte. I can eat street food. Kumakain pa ako ng kwek-kwek. <laughs> Challenge that. At isa, pakita mo na yun. So, bye. <laughs> so, how about you, Maki? So, what type of content do you usually put out and how close is it to the real before I started doing Shopee Live, if you check my social media, it's really travel. Because, uh -huh. like, apart from the fact that I like traveling, I'm a tourism major also. So, I graduated studying tourism. So, talagang interest ko yung travel. So, in that sense, it's not far from the real me because I travel a lot. Like, there are times parang before, before the pandemic, every weekend, I'm somewhere else. I'm in a mountain or in a beach. So it will it's very me talaga. And then now that um there's a pandemic and it's you know it, we can't really go out, my content really has shifted. As in I would say na it's not that iba na siya or like I changed personally. Cause no naman, it's just that my interests evolved na rin. Like now yeah. I talk more about food, like in my Shopee live streams every Friday I do mukbangs. So yeah, like I was yeah. sharing guys last night that I ate like seven bowls of rice and like oh, I really the food. So um, it really shifted from travel because I made sure that syempre, the content that you put out is relevant then. So so now parang that's what those are the usual content that I put out like more on food, more on things that you can do at home. Like you can see all the plants here. I'm dami ko pang other plants in my room but also about learning how to be like a plant halamom or something or like even <laughs> being a friend <laughs> mahirap kaya mag-isip ng what type of content and like what do you put out there so, how do you plan it how do you execute it diba or um you plan ahead talaga or or what in the end now okay game for me, when I create content, example for my live streams, as mentioned earlier, yun nga, like I try to have like a theme per day, para people look out, look look out for something. Parang they're like, oh my god, it's Monday again. I'm gonna watch Merpok Mondays, or oh, it's Friday again. It's Friday Mukbang Day, stuff like that. And then, um, also in between, I make sure na the topics I talk about are also things that are personal to me, but are still relatable to other people. So how I do it is, as in very OC ako, as in may meron akong calendar. So I make like a calendar for the whole year. And then, ayan, like I plot my my topics there to make sure na parang, parang for the whole month, it's coherent. So very OC ako when I work, parang talaga, even for something creative like this, I still, you can really see na yung work ethic ko in my real job, you know, it still translates na, okay, there's a chart, there's a, there's a parang plan. Like, it's very organized for me. And also, I do a lot of research rin kasi some, some people can just um, carry on like a live stream na one hour, walang script, I mean, walang outlines, walang anything. But for me, I'm very, ano pa rin, organized in a sense yeah. na I research, I make an outline and then parang it's not a script because it's still very spontaneous yeah. but I don't have a guide on the points that I have to see so yeah that's my brainstorming process medyo mahirap kasi if you've been live streaming for so long na mauubusan ka talaga ng topics I know maraming topics out there but later on talaga parang you're just like mental block kasi you can't really talk about something that you're, you don't know much about yeah. kasi <laughs> going to show na fake news ka yeah. <laughs> 
fake news talaga. Uh-oh. Actually, kasi in this episode, we can see the variety here. Kasi si Maki, she works solo. She works alone. Yes. Oh, guys. And then, obviously, Sam here. She, of course, my team, as, as she mentioned, na someone helps her out. So, for our viewers out here na wondering like, how they put out their content, you can uh, you can do it like with that someone who can help you, and you can also do this fun to give voice out your opinions and advice to people. So, how what you consider before po- posting any content or speaking out? Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z eighty one Radio Manila.